All right. Amazon box opening number, whatever number I'm on. Amazon box. Yay. Yay. All right. Always cut away from yourself. That way, if the knife slips, you don't get hurt. Wrong with you, feelings. It's a wireless. Apparently, it's a wireless poor controller. Poor, poor controller. I feel bad because it's so poor. All right. Yeah, here we go. I'm poor too. So, I got this off Amazon, as you probably guessed by the Amazon box opening bit. So, I forget to try this out for my Switch. Um, Go ahead and open it and see what's inside. Go ahead and go through the box real quick. So, nice quality looking box. You can see its features. RGB lights, turbo mode, four levels of dual shock, six axis gyro sensor, or gyro sensor, um, an app setup. Uh, Nothing special on the sides, really, except the bottom. The bottom's super cool. I've never seen a box bottom like that. That just says we have this poor controller. Um, all right, so it looks like it's packed decently. Instruction booklet, it is no page numbers. So we got English, English. Um, I'm going to guess Chinese because it was made in China. I don't really, don't really know. It's one of those, one of those types of letterings. Uh, looks like German. I wonder if it actually says, sometimes in the front it actually has a any kind of little page. Nope, it doesn't. All right. Back in the box, USB cable. Oh, wow. This looks, like, looks to be a good three foot cable here. Maybe longer. It's uh, a lot longer than I would, than I would have expected. Honestly, I didn't expect it to come with one. And here's the controller itself. So I don't know how you're supposed to play it on this thing. I mean, that seems pretty uncomfortable. Oh, wait, it comes out. All right, so it feels substantial with a little foam rings on it to protect it during shipping. I suppose you could leave those on there really if you wanted to. Yeah, they don't keep you from moving at all. It doesn't feel any different than my other pro controller does. Which is this one by comparison, they actually look very, very similar. Turn face up to you. So I've been using this one for months now this has been great it's been awesome so far this one looks very very similar so um we'll see how this one works i'm gonna charge her up actually i'm gonna read the instructions first maybe it comes fully charged paired up which i'm assuming is similar um right now all the buttons feel good and i can push the home button because that normally turns it on oh hell no yep Ooh. 
So I will say this does look pretty cool. Um, I don't have my switch anywhere near me, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go setting it up at this immediate moment. I will make a separate video on the setup and usage of it. This is just a box opening, so yeah, this thing looks cool. All right. So if you're looking for information as to what's in the box, which is why a lot of people watch box openings, I think. You got the controller, you got your USB, and you got your instructions and you got packaging. Really all you can expect from the controller. Package well. Okay, so a quick rundown of this snazzy controller. It's in breathe mode right now, so it just cycles through all the different color options. You push this little button right here when you find one that you like, which this is one I particularly dislike. Um, but anyway, here you go. Push it again, turn it off, push it again, and it goes right back to breathe mode. So as you just saw me going through this uh, level of uh, Sonic here, I was playing very badly, but the controls all worked awesome. This thing responds beautifully. It's got the perfect weight to it. Feels really good in your hands. It's a good size, it's a good shape. Um, as far as I can tell, it's pretty solid quality. So I'd say definitely recommend it. I've been playing with it for a little over a week now and I've had no problems. It's connected every single time. Uh, I had it connected to my phone and uh, was able to scroll through my apps. I didn't have any that were controller friendly on my phone. 
so I didn't have a chance to really play with that. All right, I hope this review helps you. Uh, like I said, well worth the money. I think it's $32 right now. So if you're looking for one and you like the way it looks, it's good quality. It'll get you everything you need. And it is definitely one of the nicest looking ones that I've seen. All right, I'm going to turn this off and go play this game properly now. All right, so we're going to connect the Bluetooth. I'm going to try to anyway. It's just facing you. And we're going to turn on the Bluetooth. And you have to have your location on as well for some reason. So X and home button. You see your one and four blinking. It's good to go. You're going to click, and this is where it's weird. You click 7039RG to connect to the Android. Vibrates, lets you know it's on. So that's on. You can close your Bluetooth. Make sure your um, location is on. And then you're going to open your Keylinker app, which you should already have downloaded. And bam, there it is. I just discovered it won't come on without your location. So you're going to click on GC Pad 7039. So here you have all your different controls. I just have them set to normal. So if you want to change something, let's say um, your A button. Let's say you want to change A button to B button. Just click B. So you can have the whole thing. If you really want to mess with your buddies, reprogram everything to be the same button. So I turn it back to A. So this covers all the buttons on the controller. Go to the next page. Um, now here we go. So you go to joystick. This gives you the option to change the sensitivity of your rocker switches. You can customize it. Like so. Um, I don't really want to know how that's going to work out, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to reset it. Uh, your left motor and your right motor. So these are your vibration controls. I turned mine down a little bit because the default is a little bit on the crazy side. And other. So other allows you to actually calibrate it. I've never done that. So let's see what happens if we push calibration. Please lay the controller flat and press plus. All right, it's laying flat. We're pressing plus. Okay. I'm guessing that was the calibration, so I don't know, maybe it'll play better. So that's how you use the uh, app software. So you would quickly, ironically, the app button here for apply, or what does that say? Or revoke. 
Um, that's for the settings. Each page has its own uh, app and revoke buttons. Your three little dots have update at, update device, um, factory reset, key test, so you can test a key. I don't know, let's push B. So there you go. It tells you what your Bs are, it tells you what direction you're pushing them. It looks all wrong to me because I have everything upside down. So you do that. Oh, it tells you your battery power is at two. How is my battery full? So I still have not charged this thing since I got it over a week ago. Uh, that doesn't make sense to me. I think something's wrong with that reading, but okay. Before entry into force after. Okay. So, okay. What other options do we have here? About and help typical app information. Update device updates the firmware. Uh, update the app. I'm on the latest version. Those are self-explanatory. When I first got it, I updated the firmware. It takes about five minutes. Quick download. Um, installs as it goes. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't try to use it before I updated it. So when I updated it, it I don't know if it made any difference. So, the, ooh, what are these? I didn't notice that you had these options. Oh, that just brings up the controls, okay. So there you go. You connect it to the Android device first, and then you move on over to the directions for using the app, but don't use the Bluetooth in the app. You turn on your location, and then the app will find the controller under the name that's in your book with a little sticker on it. In my case, it's GCPad7039. So GCPad7039 will never connect to your Bluetooth for some reason. Your app will never find the GamePad7039. I, yeah, it's weird. I don't understand it. I'm sure there's a logical reason for it. So this is my biggest gripe about the app. I only have two, actually. It's weird, but once you learn it, it's fine. You can't back out of it. You can hit this all day. It's never going to back out. The only way to close it is to do the close all apps. I hate apps you can't back out of. They're annoying. Um, I also love the fact you can't control the colors with the app. I really wish I could... Use the thing, the RGB, so I would love to be able to go and pick a color and be, all right, this is what I want. But no, can't do that. Um, oh, sorry.